really like this sweater, but um, it's an extra small and I'm not an extra small, so why are you trying it on? I don't, I mean, it's extra small, but in no one's world am I an extra small, but maybe in Madewell's. I kind of like that. Let's get it going, going. Hey friends, it's Quenby, the Grateful Queen here on YouTube. Welcome, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here for another Jomar Wholesale unboxing and review video. One of my favorite things to do. This is Madewell Assorted Women's Second Hand Wholesale, 20 items. The cost of the box is normally 145. But I didn't pay $145. I used a discount link, and hopefully every time you shop on Jomar, you will use a discount code as well. Never shop at Jomar Wholesale without a discount code. If you use my code, I earn credit with Jomar, and I really appreciate that. Thank you to everyone who has written to me saying that they use my code and they loved their boxes. If you put the Grateful Queen, all one word, into Jomar when you're checking out, you get a discount. So I also got, let's see, where was the sh shipping was free. Oh, shipping was free. There's a tip. Jomar does all kinds of promotions, so make sure you're on their email list. It's okay, we're starting with a fuzzy Madewell sweater. This is a women's size small, and it's like a color block. So it's got like a green front here, and then some gray balloon sleeves, and um, a light gray back. Now it does have some pilling on it, this is a pre-owned box, friends. Manage your expectations when you buy a pre-owned box because you're gonna find things with little flaws. I have been leaning more towards new tags boxes, although I do have my favorite pre-owned boxes from Joe Marsh. So just check out some of the videos on my channel and see whether you think it's right for you. This sweater feels so soft, so I'm gonna do a quick material check. Uh, merino wool and alpaca. Nylon, merino wool, and alpaca. So I'll hit this with my set. <laughs> Come on. So I will hit this with my sweater shaver, which has been very difficult for me to say. So if there's another name for it, like lint remover, depiller, let me know in the comments. I absolutely love mine. It's one of my favorite things that are linked in the description. In terms of all my reseller tools, absolutely love my depiller, and I've used so many of them over the years. I've been reselling for 10 years, my friends. I've been 10 years on eBay. The past few years, I have been on Poshmark. I am on YouTube. I also sell digital products on Etsy. And um, I sell it a thread up. That's one of the reasons I wanted this Madewell box was because Madewell sells pretty well for me online, depending on the piece. Maybe we'll talk about that a little more in the video in case you're wanting to learn about that. And on thread up, I get a pretty decent payout for Madewell. So that made this a really good box for me. This piece is what I'd call good from the brand. It's an extra small, extra, extra small, which is tough. I'll show you the tag. I'm not going to show you every tag because this is a Madewell box. I'm wondering if there might be some things from J. Crew in here because they're somehow sister companies. If you're new, please be sure to join us at the very end of the video for all the bloopers so we can laugh and have a little bit of fun. It's usually the best part of the video. So see you at the end. This is a shift dress, a really loose shift dress in this gorgeous blue and ivory plaid. And then it's got some heavy embroidery detail at the top. Now I'm looking at this and there's definitely some like sweat under the armpit. I will spray that with Shout, let it sit for like 24 hours uh, because this is a really cute dress. So when I'm buying, like say I'm out at the thrift store, I'll buy Madewell. It's an expensive brand. It's very trendy, very hipster, but I'm selective about which pieces. I used to buy, 10 years ago, I would buy a t-shirt from them and be able to sell it for 20 bucks. Not anymore, my friends. So I get more substantial pieces from the brand or more current pieces or unique pieces. This is so cute. This is a cardigan, a nice, ivory ribbed cardigan and friendly reminder friends to please subscribe to the channel and make sure to hit that little bell that'll notify you when a new video comes out or when i go live it's mustard it's a really mustard um size small women's 
chunky knit ribbed sweater. Now this is what I'd call a mock neck. It's not quite a full turtleneck. It's not a cowl neck. It's sort of a mock, which is like halfway in between, I guess I'd say. Oh, I love this. Oversized ribbed has been so popular in 2021, 2022. It needs a hit with my sweater shaver as well. But I'm not afraid to buy things if I'm out thrifting and it's a really great brand and a nice piece, but it has pills. I know my sweater shaver will do the job. Oh, this is so cute. A lot of these things are really small. It's so sad for me. This is a heavily embroidered dress. Light blue with all this heavy stitching detail. Pockets. Oh, that is so cute. And it looks like there's a little tie at the, um, a little keyhole. Cut out and tie at the sleeve. So, so cute. Oh, denim. Denim is one of the best selling things within the brand of Madewell for me. They make a lot of really great, kind of expensive, high-waisted denim. So I have not seen shorts by them, though. Madewell, size 28. Some cute, distressed little cut-off shorts. Um, the comps on this brand, you guys, it totally depends. Like for shorts, I can probably only get like 12, 15 bucks. Jeans, depending on the style, 30 to $70. So look, when you're at the store and you're considering a pair of jeans, they usually have the name on them. Look it up, the style name, because some styles within the brand sell well. And like, this is a denim jacket. So clearly a jacket is gonna sell for a lot more. Actually, these sweaters, sweaters are gonna sell for more. This is a really cute dark wash distressed jacket. I've never found a jacket before, size small. Sometimes you guys message me about wanting things in the haul or the unboxing, that is no problem. Um, the fastest way is probably on Instagram. You can also find all my stores and closets and contact information in the description section below. Come find me on Instagram at The Grateful Queen. I try and post there every day, so more frequently. This is like just a little, I guess it's a midi dress, a black ribbed mid-length stretchy dress. This would be so perfect. Size small for like beach summertime. I plan to send a bunch of this to thread up because I could go on and on all about thread up. If you're interested in more information, definitely let me know. I've got two videos about thread up on the channel. One is for total beginners about like how to get a label, how to print a box, um, how to get the most out of your sending in your box or kit. And then there I have a follow up video, kind of what's selling and what I've learned. But the thing I love about thread up is I just pack off a box and send it to them and they photograph it, they ship it, they just deal with returns and customer service. So it's a really kind of passive income stream for me. I just pack up a 30 pound box and ship it off. The only thing I really have to do is monitor my kits. Like every day I try and go on there for like 10 minutes and just see what's happening with my kits. But made well, I can usually get like 20 bucks for a sweater as my payout for not doing any work. So if I can pick it up for five bucks, send it to thread up, let them deal with it all and make 20 bucks, that makes a lot of sense for me. This is a more simple but really sweet, size small, kind of an oatmeal neutral sweater with a scoop neck and a round hem. I really like that. Like a total basic neutral. Now this will surprise me if this is made well for some reason because you've seen the theme. Like they do a lot of solids, a lot of blue chambray embroidery, but this doesn't look like a print from Madewell. Oh, because it's Broadway and Broom. So Broadway and Broom, I'll show you this tag. I've sold this really well before. It's some sister company to Madewell. Um, I, I think this dress, I don't it might be a little older. To me, this looks like a little bit of a dated dress, super cute pink dress um, with an eye cat, kind of colorful eye cat, cat print. What I've sold for that brand is more like their denim. I've sold a denim, like hipster um, knee length button front skirt in olive green. I've sold things like that. What is this? This looks like J. Crew to me, but let's see. It's made well, a nautical theme. That's what I think of whenever I see a blue and white stripe. I, I think like nautical, classic nautical stuff. So like t-shirts, I'm probably only getting, gonna get like 10 or 12 bucks plus shipping for you guys. This one I'll probably keep, keep because it's a size medium, it's pink, and it's just like super, super thin, 
slub cotton kind of shirt and it won't sell for that much and I really like it. Ooh, this feels awesome. Sweaters can be, depending on the sweater, they can sell for a lot, especially on Poshmark. Okay, this is a really cute sweater. This has got to have Angora too. Look at that. It's sort of like a taupe, a tan or taupe with blue stripes. I just really like that. Full mohair acrylic nylon. The other thing about Madewell that's really good to know is that on their, on their tags, their material tags, there's a style number. So if you look down here, it's like, here's the material. And then it'll say style with some numbers and letters. Just pop that into Google and you can find out the name, style name, and then decide if you're going to use stock photos. Stock photos, I feel like it's been more and more controversial lately. I think technically you're not supposed to use stock photos because they don't belong to you. They're copyrighted. A photographer and a company paid for them, but it's common practice that most resellers use stock photos. Some people don't. That's a decision you get to make as an adult running your own business. But let me know, do you use them in the comments or do you not use stock photos? Some people use stock photos, but not as their first picture because you're less likely to get called out for using a stock photo if you do that. Oh, I wish this was my size. Extra small, look at this peasant top. Look at all this pleating, embroidery, crochet on there. Oh, I just love it. I wish that would fit me. So when I go to sell this online, I'm going to say made well, women's top, extra small, white peasant, crochet, lace, embroidery. So cute, it's like gauzy thin. This, oh, I'm glad I'm getting sweaters and dresses because those are gonna sell for more. I wonder if I got some woman size extra, extra small her entire dress collection because this is like three, I've had three or four extra small dresses. It's Friday, I hope to see you on the live tonight, every Friday on the channel at 5 p.m. Pacific, or that's eight o'clock if you're on the East Coast. I do reseller community night, live at five, and a bunch of resellers get together and we talk about our week in reselling. I learn a lot. It's really fun. Great networking. This is so cute. Now, what is this called? Is this gingham? Or is this just like check print? Really, really cute. It's got a pocket. Just an adorable shift dress. That is so cute. I didn't get, oh, here's a pair of jeans. I was going to say I didn't get jeans. These are high, made well high riser. So I would look that up to determine what to price these at size 26, 32, a high rise medium wash jean with a lot of distress. Do you guys note that in your title uh, or your description? Like under condition section, I would say gently used without flaws, intentional fade, distress, holes, fray or whatever. I always put that in there. These do have a little bit of hole in the knee there, but I think most people like a little bit of that. These are really soft, kind of broken in. Ooh, a really cute print here. What are you guys thinking of this box? This is a, oh, this is so cute. This is like a Madewell take on like a classic plaid flannel. It's more feminine. They've sort of cut the neckline out and given it like a balloon sleeve with some elastic at the end. Really cute. Probably like 20 bucks on that. And this, oh, it's a strapless dress by Madewell. Size double zero. Oh, it's so cute though. It's like a sundress. Blue chambray when it looks kind of like denim, but it's lightweight, that's chambray. And it's got a crisscross strappy back going there. This one's in amazing condition. So far, as I, I don't notice any major flaws other than the sweaters that need pilling and there was that one dress. Sometimes when I put it under my lights, I realize it needs a little bit more care and that's fine. That's the way it is with the pre-owned boxes and you're getting this for a pretty low cost of goods. Oh, super cute. Just a Madewell size, small, super soft. T, maybe I'll lot up several of those tees because you're not gonna make too much on just a Madewell t-shirt, but maybe if I lot a few together and ending with a pair of Madewell high riser skinny jeans, they're a size 27. These are like a muted faded black skinny jeans, a really, really high waist on those 
When it's like this, when it's kind of like a muted black or like a charcoal gray black, I also uh, note that in my description. I'll say muted black, because if I just put black, I'm afraid they're gonna get these and be like, wow, these are almost gray. So I always put that in there. A really solid box from Jomar. What did you guys think? Thanks for staying with me. It's always so fun to do an unboxing with you. I'll see you in the next video, friends. Bye bye, bye bye, bye. Bye bye, bye bye, bye. Love you guys, see you next time, bye. Oh, it always goes so quick. It's like 20 items. That's a that's a good amount of items to have to photograph list. Bunch of this stuff. And maybe some of I'm gonna look on thread up. Oh, I ended the video already, but oh well. I, it's funny, like I end the video and then I talk to you guys. <laughs> do 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 It's like I just did thumbs up somehow in the video. Like, <laughs> I'm not a thumbs up kind of person, so it's like, no, no. I always think I have it set up and then it's like, no, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I'm in a little bit of a different spot today. Hopefully that doesn't freak you out. Is that good? I feel, feel like there's a lot of room above my head, but I also don't wanna look down at the camera and show chinage. I'll just take it down like a teeny bit. No, that's up. I said link, I always say link, but it's not, it's a code. Um, they had a free shipping weekend. I look out for those. Sometimes they'll have 30% off the whole site. So just check out, no, that doesn't sound right. I love this so much. It does need a little bit of a clean out. Clean out, oh please gosh. This feels like an awesome material, super fuzzy. Like if I wore it with my black pants, there would be fuzz everywhere. Whoa. Come find me on Instagram. Instagram. <laughs>